Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with an FGO reaction video. Now I'm going to react to the My Room voice lines uh, made by the different Indian servants first. Then like you know I'll probably I'll see how man, many like you know people watches this and everything. If this kind of like, you know people watches this reactions, I'll kind of continue after that as well to go into the other servants that I have not read or watched the My Room lines and uh yeah i'm going to do that so we'll see but for now i'm going to start with the indian servants because i'm quite curious about a few of the servants which i they don't have and you know like uh, the a few other like you know voice dialogues that i probably heard before but i've forgotten i'm going to like you know get a little bit memory refresher and stuff so yeah i'm kind of curious so i'm going to check out two servants today um, arjuna and karna the two of the biggest indian servants in fgo i'm going to check out their uh voiced lines my room lines and uh, yeah talk about them react to them and give my impressions so okay now <clears throat> here's the thing um i don't have arjuna so i don't know his my room lines at all garna however i didn't have him but a few months ago i recently got him in his book and uh, so after that i i don't think i checked out his my room lines that much i probably just skimmed through it nothing i didn't didn't like you know kind of didn't go into it and like you know the the bond level of karna my my karna is still not high because i'm kind of focusing on a few other servants uh, bonds so i've not seen uh, karna's my uh, room lines as well so this will be kind of fresh for me and i'm kind of curious what they're going to say because like you know always i'm an indian and i'm kind of curious as to like you know with the different servants they have like this type of an interaction i'm kind of curious what they're going to say about each other you know karna about arjuna arjuna about karna <laughs> and a few other servants as well so yeah i'm curious so let's see i'm going to do these two today and probably sometimes next week i'm going to do another two servants which will probably be um i don't know ganesha or someone else like a parvati probably like something like that i'll do it i'll think about it later uh so this will be kind of like a weekly thing while in the other days where i put out fjo videos i'll probably react to amvs so yeah something like that uh until and unless the lost belt uh five olympus starts then i'm going to full put my full concentration on uh, the gameplay video you know like making the gameplay video uh, so anyways uh, enough talking let's start this is uh, Arjuna Archer's voice lines and I'll be linking down all the uh, videos that I'll be reacting to in this reaction video in the description box I'm sure you've checked it out uh, but you know if you haven't click on it it'll take you there so yeah let's start so here we go fate grand order Arjuna Archer's voice lines Servanto Archer Arjuna to マスターわたしを存分にお使いくださいオーライトこれシンプルアンショートですこれシンプルアンショートですこれシンプルアンショートですこれシンプルアンショートですこれシンプルアンショートですこれシンプルアンショートですこれシンプルアンショートですこれシ
<笑>あ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとう
all right so arjuna okay um his his character is very uh you can see like in the beginning he's like this lone wolf type of character he's like oh leave me alone no i want to just be like this uh in, in solitude and then like you know like i love the way like the whole thing changed like when he was talking about karna his his like <laughs> the way he was speaking and then as soon as we go to Rama the way he speaking he was speaking completely changes like obviously I realized the reason behind that because um, like you know like Arjuna was in the time when like gods were there in on earth like you know like gods were like you know like an integral part of us and it was the age of gods I you guess I, you can say uh, but like you know like Krishna they like you know they, he was heavily involved with the Mahabharata the epic war of Mahabharata and everything. Oh, okay, I'll talk about this. Oh, this is the battle lines. No, skill lines, okay. What to do the bang? Oh, okay. Wait, I do Noble Phantasm selected. Oh. Whoa. Okay. 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 これより炸裂する。みなぎ。我がガンティーバ。見るがいい。これが崩壊だ。パシパタ。悲劇を持って主情を救わん。芝の後方よ。崩壊とともに押し寄せよ。爆縮回収。パシパタ。弾けて落ちよ。オッケー。おのれ。ウォー。オッケー
the novel phantasm yep there you go mm. oh <laughs> okay let's see <coughs> And there you go. Oh, this is the second one, okay. Hingekiomotte <laughs> バツを下す。ミルガ。これが崩壊だ。パスパタ。オッケー。だから言っただろう。オッケー、アイ<咳><咳><咳> All right. Um, so as I was saying, let me know, the, like you know, like the, after reading the voice lines, should I let this part play or should I skip this part from the next video? Uh, this like you know animations part because we've already seen and and I most of the uh, like you know characters I know the like you know I've seen the animations because I use them you know like in my, in my friend support and everything. So I I've seen all of these, but uh, the lines are like you know different uh, and. Uh, so let me know if I should skip the, the final part. I'm sure like, you know, all the other uh, ones that I'll react to will also have this. Should I skip the final part or should I let, keep it playing? So, <clears throat> okay, anyways. Uh, so yeah, what I was saying before, I was saying like uh, the way his tone changes when first he was talking about Karna, Karna who's he like, you know, thinks of as a rival. While then when he's talking about Rama, you know, the way his tone changes, it was really interesting because obviously we know at that moment uh, like when Arjuna was there, it was like like gods were there with them, and they had like a you know like it it was like uh like a very different thing. Like they used to obviously like you know they respect gods and everyone, and like you know they look at, up to them and worship them, pray to them. But at the same time, gods are there with them. You know, as I said, like in the uh, epic of Mahabharata, uh, Krishna plays plays one of the most integral. Uh, integral roles in the in the war and krishna is one of the like you know uh, one of the gods so he the, it shows how like you know like he respects the gods like and, and obviously Ram, uh, rama is like an av avatar of vishnu and that's why i guess like you know his tone changes so drastically he's like full on respect mode as soon as he talks about rama <laughs> Interesting to see like you know the different way they like you know had like they were talking about the different characters and um I guess um there was no conversation about Arjuna and Arjuna Altar. Like I was kind of thinking maybe they were going to have it. Like you know, like Arjuna talking about his altar self, something like that. So but I didn't find anyone anything uh, like that here. So it's probably not there. And uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a good like you know that was a good thing and okay now a few things uh, <coughs> an interesting thing here uh, let me double check first because i'm just a second the noble phantasm pashupata um okay so <laughs> Lord Shiva, like if you guys, I'm, sh I'm sure a few guys of you must know, uh, Lord Shiva is also called Pashupati, and which means uh, the Lord of the animals. Pashu means um, animals, and Pati, uh, I'm not sure about the actual translation of Pati, it probably means like Lord or something, I'm not sure, because um, like. Hindi is not my uh, language. My language, my, my mother tongue is uh, Bengali. So I'm not that much, you know, like I don't know that much about Hindi. There's a few things that I don't understand. So I w wasn't able to probably give you the translation, but it means something like that. Pashu means animals and that much I know. 
and pati probably means something like that so he's called like you know lord shiva is called pashupati so it's interesting to see like you know i've always thought about it like that um arjuna's noble phantasm is called pashupata now i don't know if there's like an like pata means something or something. let me check pashupata is that like an actual thing uh no No, I don't. I, I can't find anything called Pashupata here. So I can see this one thing. I, I didn't know about this. Like, there's a thing called Pashupatastra. Pashupatastra. Uh, whoa. What? What is Pashupata? Pashupatastra is an irresistible and most destructive personal weapon of Shiva, Kali, and Adi Parashakti. Which can be discharged by the mind, the eyes, words, or a bow. Maybe this is the one that they were talking about. Like Pashupata, maybe it's actually Pashupatastra. Uh, Pashu, as I said, Pashu means animals. I don't know if there's like a meaning behind Pata or something, but Astra means weapon. No, like Pashu means animal, Astra means weapon. So it kind of makes sense. Like, and he's, they're also saying here that it can be discharged by the mind the eyes words or a bow so maybe this is the one that they were like you know, pashupata and like it's actually pashupatastra something like that i don't know like and i'm not sure about this but you know it's interesting i, I just found out this today <laughs> that's interesting anyways um so yeah that was arjuna and uh, <laughs> yeah okay uh, another thing i forgot uh, arjuna's voice actor arjuna fg i'm pretty sure it's nobunaga let me still check one more time. Mm, mm. Where is it? Voice actor. Here we go. Shimazaki Nobunaga. Yeah, and I, I know that he also uh, voice acts Gudako. Oh, no, not Gudako. Sorry, Gudao. And um, uh, Dantes. These two as well. So, all right, that was Arjuna. Let me start with Karna. I'm quite interested in seeing how. <laughs> you know he talks about everything and all that stuff and how he talks about arjuna let's check out if how arjuna was kind of hostile towards uh <laughs> not hostile i wouldn't say hostile he was he was kind of a little bit um uh yeah very minor hostility not that much but there was a very minor hostility in his voice when he was talking about karna <laughs> so i'm interested if karna will also act like that here you know or, or will he be full calm or something like that we'll see so, all right here we go uh karna's voice lines servant dancer shinmei karna to you yoroshiku tanome master debushou mo hodo hodo ni na okay omae ga meizuru nara Wait, what's with the background? マリオクの供給により俺たちは生きることができる。あの男と肩を並べる。おお、ヘイウェイ。頼もしいと思う反面、抑えきれない葛藤もある。イネビティブル気持ちは初めてだ。ともあれ。かつて母が願ったリソが
イライラしているように見える。Abundance of fighting. アリアマルトーシンによるもの。アルジュナスト talking about calcium and this guy. <笑>そこ強く思いをやりに乗せることができればと思っている。Okay. ジャークを一切許さぬアルジュナ。アルジュナアルタル。おお、interesting. もとより潔癖症の男だったが。その部分をさらに磨き上げた結果か。うん。真水では魚は住めないことを知らぬ男ではなかったが。Not understand. やつがこの場所で、そしてマスターのもとで何を邪悪と断ずるか。Oh. それをこのやりとともに見定め続けるとしよう。Wow, he has a lot to say about h u n t i n g all the time. Okay. 友情、努力。若いどれも素晴らしいものだ、うん、そう思わないか、okay. 嫌いではないのだが、I don't dislike、コミュニケーションが苦手だ。人は言葉で分かり合えるのだろうか、うん、聖杯に興味はない。No、interest. だお前が取りたいならば話は別だ。Oh. 何かあるらしいぞ。見えるか<笑>なんだその行動に何か言うボンドオケー悪いがつまらんボーリングいやすまない<笑>俺が悪いのであって<笑>お前が悪いわけだ<笑><笑>お前もなかなか奇妙なマスターだないや気にするなお前の指示が不足したことはない存分に使うがいい、right. <笑>何かあったのか俺で解消できる程度のストレスそれに越したことはないがさてしかし俺などに解消できる悩みなどあるのだろうかあ,あ、his... かつてとあるマスターに言われてな俺は一言ジナコではなく少ないのだジナコ isn't it? ジラリ何とかしようと思っているのだが何とかなっているかそうかそうか,そうか生誕の日か祝い事だな。Okay. Ah,、oh, interesting. I, I love it. It was interesting to see how he was kind of accepting about Arjuna by the end of it. He was like, all right, let's see. You know,、um, our mother wanted this, so. Ah.、Oh. He had a lot to say about Arjuna Alter, though. <laughs> ここまで信頼され、貴重な力を預けてもらう。フェンタの中でも最高の幸運度ではないだろう。The armor and the spear. He used the armor in Lost Bell 4. I think that's the first time he used his armor in FGO, didn't he? 言葉がないというのはこういうことだったのか。ありがとう、マスター。この胸の高ぶりがある限り、俺のやりに敗北はないぞ。OK。Oh, oh, wait, he's also illustrated by Paco. Interesting.、Um, Alright, so I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about him here and let the video play out because I won't be able to understand these. Alright, so.、Um, Wait a minute. So he was talking about、um, Ganesha. Okay, now he's like, you know, he's like Surya's son. How, wait, how does that correlate with Ganesha? Ganesha is Shiva's daughter, Shiva and Parvati's daughter. So how, do that, how does that. I'll have to check it out. Like. Oh boy. Or was he just saying that because. Oh, Gan I forgot the main thing here. Oh my god. Ganesha Jinako. That's why he was saying that. I was thinking, like, wait a minute, how does Karna like correlate to Ganesha? And I'm like, how does that happen? And then I realized, like, Ganesha is actually Jinako. So that's why he was talking about her like that. Oh my god, okay, now、oh, that makes more sense. I'm like, okay, god. I forgot for a second that, that Jinak was actually Ganesha. 
<laughs> oh boy. I was trying to actually think about the lore and everything. I'm trying to like, wait a minute, does Surya, how does Surya correlate to Shiva? Like, are they related or something? I was trying to find out, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, like, I don't see any connection to, towards them. And then, okay, now I'm like, all right. Ah. Uh, I forgot that Jinak was Ganesha. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, I'll talk about a thing later. Like, I'm kind of... Okay. Yeah, like, I don't <laughs> so short. Whoa, what the? <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. 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 Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow, he talks both about uh, Indra and Surya. Ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 インガク。悪く思うな。ここまでだ。俺が上回っただけだ。貴様が気にすることではない。少し満たされたようだ。ビルド。ライフラップ。あれ、what? I, one thing I really love about his animations is that they're really unique, you know? Like, like, look at these. And Karna came out very early. And... As I said, like, you know, FGO during... It's, like, you know, when it started, the animations and the voice lines and everything were very simple. If you, if you see, like, compare it today's FGO to previous, like, you know, the when it started, you can see the animations are very simple, but Kana's animation, I guess, I guess he got a lot of animations updates or something. I don't know, most probably, but still, they're quite interesting. Oh my god, I love this part where he kind of, you know, uses his eyes. I realized it. I have a lot of lancers now. Like previously, Erskikal was the only lancer that I had. Had five star, and now I have Karna and Ska Skahat as well. Like wow. <laughs> いくぞ。命令 
絶滅とはこれこの一筋インドライブ滑目しろ焼き尽くせバサビーシャチーぜひおなしスーリアよご承覧あれうんもはや戦場に過酌なし我が父よ許したまえ空前絶後バサビーシャクティーこのままでは、yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's the end. Alright. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, yeah. This is amazing. Okay, one thing I should check out. Who is his voice actor? Karna FGO. I unfortunately I have no idea who his voice actor is. So I knew about Arjuna, but I don't know about Karna. Who is it? Um voice actor Yusa Koji. Wait. Yusa Koji. Let me check if he. What else character did he voice? Um. Oh, and uh, Bleach Gen Ichimaru. Okay. Is there anyone else that I know here? Uh, recently, who did he do? Oh, nothing much I could see. Yeah. Oh, Mob Psycho Shinji Kam. Uh, oh, Overlord Brain Angulus. Okay, okay. Okay, I can see there's not much that he did. But Karna, yeah, Karna is one of the biggest. And there are a few others as well, as you can see, Bleach and everything. Uh, yeah anyways uh, he's been doing this for a long time wow he oh okay uh, he even did in shin chan crayon shin chan 1992 wow he's been doing this for a long time <laughs> all right anyways um <clears throat> okay so this is this was karna's like you know voice lines and everything now um i loved the fact he talked about a lot of characters interesting uh, you know, unlike Arjuna, Arjuna basically kind of talked about him, Rama, and I think Ashwatthaman. These these three is like you know only these three or a few of them. Now he talks about Arjuna, Arjuna Alter, Ganesha, um, Ashwatthaman, and uh, okay. Now here's the thing. I need to go back to the where is it? Uh, when he talks about the different characters. Uh, first of all, in Arjuna. Oh, he also talks about Gilgamesh. I was, I was kind of surprised about that. I'm like, why is he talking about Gilgamesh? And uh, yeah, okay, so. Arjuna, like, it's interesting, like, at first, like, you know, in Arjuna's part, Arjuna kind of says, like, oh, like, you know, like, he better be careful, you know, if he comes in front of me. <laughs> I will not go easy on him. And, uh, like, while he here, at first, he says, like, okay, where is it? Okay, to stand shoulder to shoulder with that man while promising it also invites inevitable conflict. This is the first time I have ever felt this way. In any case, it is the ideal that our mother once desired. I'll try it out for now. So, yeah, because of her mother's wish, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, he's like, alright, I'll try it out. And he kind of gives a lot of... Uh, uh like i don't like i've always thought about it like this like you know i've always seen like you know, arjuna being more uh what do you call it like has having more sense of rivalry towards karna than karna having towards arjuna i've always always seen it that way and it's kind of true i guess like obviously like akana was someone who um, like you know arjuna kind of you know like like he had skills like karna had skills and he always arjuna kind of looked at him in that way as a rival and while I guess for Karna, it was not in that sense. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's probably something like that. That's why that kind of, you know, whenever they interact and stuff in FGO, that kind of comes out. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> when he was talking about Ganesha, 
I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, let me see this part. And at that moment, I forgot completely that Ganesha is actually Jinako. So I was really not understanding what he's, he was saying. Let me check this part out again now. He says, I was a man, we're talking about Ganesha, the great statue god. I was a man without any relation with Ganesha, but I feel very drawn to the Ganesha of Kalya. So makes so much sense. I'm at that moment I forgot that Jinako is Ganesha and I'm like, wait a minute, he's talking about Ganesha and he's saying like he's drawn to her and everything. And I'm like, how does that interconnect? Like he's the son of Surya. He has connections with Indra as well. Uh, you know, Karna. But that's completely different from Ganesha. Ganesha is the son, you know, of um, Shiva and Parvati. So I'm like, how is this getting connected here? Like, how is the, where, where is the relationship? And then I realized, okay, this is Jinako. And if, if you guys know, Jinako was the master of Karna in Fate Extra. So, and this line makes so much sense now. He says like, I was a man without any relation with Ganesha, but I feel very drawn to the Ganesha of Kaldia, which makes so much sense because the Ganesha of Kaldia is actually uh, Ganesha in Jinako, Jinako's best body. So, <laughs> oh boy, I was very confused while reacting to it because I forgot that Ganesha is Jinako. <laughs> okay, here we go. Like a troublesome elder sister this makes so much sense now. My God, uh, like, like here when he says troublesome elder sister, I'm like, wait a minute, how does Karna and Ganesha, like, you know, how does that? <laughs> And then I'm like, all right, this is because it's Jinako. Like a friend I cannot leave alone. Like an important someone. Okay. Wait, is he blushing? Wait a minute. What the? I just noticed it. He's, he's blushing. What the? God. Oh my god. I just noticed it now. Oh. Okay, yeah. He's like, okay, if it's like this, I can't be happy. Now, you know, I'm, I'm in a big dilemma here um, because, oh my god, like, <laughs> the thing is, we're going to get like an SSR, you know, like those uh, SSR ticket in very recently. I'm obviously, I'm going to choose waiver there, like, without a doubt, waiver is definitely needed. Is one of the like you know most needed servants in my Kaldia. But the next year we're going to get another SSR uh, ticket, which is the I think sixth anniversary, yeah. Um so I, I thought about this is like a dilemma I have. I, I at first I thought I'm I'm gonna get Ganesha there if I don't get spooked by them, you know. I'm going to get Ganesha there. And then like I kind of changed my mind. I'm like, wait a minute, should I get Ganesha? Or should I get Artoria? You know, the like you know Artoria, the first Artoria. Artoria Saber. Because I don't have her, and I've heard that she kind of gets quite strong because her skills change. I think he, she gets a skill where all her cards kind of turn into buster cards or something. That's kind of insane if you think about it, you know, like you can just spam that with like some hundred percent crit damage, you can just spam that and obliterate anyone. So <sighs> Like, and then I thought, okay, I'm going to get, uh, you know, like, Artoria Saber. But I do want, I have Karna with me. I do want, like, you know, to get Ganesha because that'll be interesting, like, having both Karna and Ganesha in my account. I'm, I'm really stressed out about that. It's, it's going to happen, a, like, you know, a year later. So that's a good thing because we're going to see in JP the seventh anniversary. I'm kind of waiting if they're going to give us another SSR ticket in the seventh anniversary. If they give it to us, then it'll be okay, like it'll be really good because I'll be able to get both Artoria and Ganesha then. Um, so <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about it. What I'm going to do next year because this year obviously it's a waiver, like no doubt about it. But boy, yeah. Okay, and then he talks about Ashwatthaman and all that. And yeah, okay, now, um, it's interesting in both the Noble Phantasms, he talks about the first, in the first Noble Phantasm, he, he refers to Indra, uh, because obviously Indra gave him the Vasa Vishakti, while in the second no Noble Phantasm, he talks about Shiva, uh, not Shiva, sorry, uh, Surya, who is like his, who is his father. And uh, it's interesting, he talks, like, and he actually refers to both the gods, and 
Yeah, well, like, you know, if you think about it that way, this is another thing that kind of connects Karna and Arjun. Obviously, they're brothers, if you know it. Um, and But at the same time, if you think about it, like, Karna's uh, and Arjuna's father is Indra, I think, isn't it? Yeah. While Indra is the one who gave Karna Vasavi Shakti. Uh, after obviously taking away his armor, his indestructible armor. And... Uh, like it's interesting like the connection that both of them have like in karna and arjuna like in this way so yeah anyways that was it um oh boy i love this and uh yeah these two are like you know the biggest fgo indian servants after this i'll probably uh react to uh, next next week probably let me check out who should i react to uh like indian servants i'll co complete the indian service first and then I'm going to probably, if, if the videos do well, I'll probably switch to some other characters, you know. Uh, okay, uh, Rama, okay, Rama, Sen and Parvati. Okay, I'm going to talk about, uh, not talk about, sorry, I'm going to react to Rama and Parvati sometimes next week, you know. And then comes Kama, Ganesha, Lakshmi Bai, Arjuna Alter, Ashwatthaman, Nemo. Yeah, you can say Nemo is like an Indian serpent, if you think about it. It's kind of mixed with Poseidon. As far as I uh, not Poseidon, sorry, Poseidon's son, I think. What's his name? I forgot. And then Vritra. These are the few characters. So, yeah, I'll probably look at their voice lines one by one. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and, like, you know, let me know if I should, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, complete the Indian servants. And if I should, like, you know, continue this in the future as well, like, you know, they're reacting to their voice lines, um, like, uh, for example, the Indian servants, after I complete the Indian servants, maybe I'll switch to the uh, servants of Britain. For example, the cam the, the ones uh, like, you know, re related to Camelot, Artoria, like, you know, Pendragon, Mordred, all of them, their voice lines. Uh, and I'm going to like, you know, do it like this, you know, just kind of one by one. So let me know if I should continue this in the future as well, because, you know, this will be like a, like a huge content source. <laughs> to react to in my channel like i can like you know i can uh i can make content on this for days like because there's so many servants in fgo so let me know and yeah i'll, I'll also look at the views and everything and see if people watch this or not and i'll continue it uh if a decent amount of people watch it so yeah anyways that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the uh two of the biggest indian servants voice lines which is uh karna and arjuna and react, I reacted to them. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, just be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, I put up FG content like this once or twice a week. Uh, and uh, yeah, so be, definitely subscribe if you want to see more FG content. And comment down below anything you want to say, uh, any other extra information you have. And I'm like, I'm an Indian, I know a lot of these things, but there are maybe there's a few things about Karna and Arjuna that I don't know. So definitely comment down below, or maybe if I said something wrong, or maybe I said some incorrect information, correct me down if I did something like that. So yeah, and uh, yeah, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys probably sometime next week with another one of these type of videos uh, where I'm going to react to Rama and Parvati. Yeah, these two. So see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.